maybe the international media uh, doesn't know that, but you also had some some fans, some fighters here in Denmark rooting against you, saying that Marco Madsen maybe isn't on UFC at, at the UFC level. You proved them wrong tonight. How does that feel to silence the critics? Well, the same guys told me I was too old to do MMA. They told me I was too old to get into the UFC. I guess <clears throat> it's just a part of the sport. At last, uh, we asked the UFC uh, executive before, what's next for Marco Madsen? And he said, I don't know. We'll have to ask Mark, what does Mark want to do? What do you want to do? do you, any, any opponent in mind? When do you want to come back and fight? I want to hurry back to the training room, you know, start training, start developing. <clears throat> I'm roughly 19 months old in this sport, so I have a lot of, a lot of things I have to develop. So I'll get busy, grind my ass off, and then, you know, develop the best I can. Mark, hello. Congrats on the win, I'm here. Uh, you must have been watched a lot of fights <coughs> of uh, the UFC before coming to the UFC. Uh, I wanted to ask, who do you consider as the best wrestlers right now in the lightweight division in the UFC? The best wrestler? Yes. I think there can be little doubt that the best wrestler would be Khabib Nurmagomedov. Uh, in terms of the way he's been able to transfer his wrestling credentials into MMA. So it, it's two different sports, like MMA and wrestling. Uh, but he's the champ. With 25, 20 fights less than Khabib, can you say you look up to him somehow, as a guy who adapted his uh, great wrestling skills inside the uh, Oklahoma? Well, naturally, a guy like Khabib, uh, I can only aspire to watch his achievement. He's done great in the sport of MMA. He's great person, very humble. Um, I've had the, the honor of meeting him, training with him. Um, we have the same management. I think he's a great guy and naturally I can only aspire towards his achievement. Great athlete. Competing uh, as a wrestler uh, in the past, you were competing uh, in a bit higher weight class category than in this time. You were competing uh, mostly in 74 kilograms. Uh, how does the weight cut issue? It's different when cutting down the way to wrestling competition than the UFC fight and how it went this time. Well, I had to put, put more work into the, the weight cut this time. Uh, spent a longer period cutting down. <coughs> but I feel awesome. Yeah, I think this is, this is the weight division I'll be, uh, I'll be trying to establish myself in. So, yeah, make a plan, follow that plan. We did that today and I felt great. It's the first time in 18 years I've been this light. It was a huge, okay. huge challenge, but you know, job done and I'm proud. Hey Mark. Right over here. Yep. How you doing, mate? Congratulations on the win. Thank you. I just had a little question. Um, I was interested in uh, how you and Ali Abdelaziz got together. How did that come about? Um, I actually went with my family to Vegas, uh, that was the first trip I made after my last fight. Um, Martin Kaplan and Ali have been is, is, is good friends from the time back in <coughs> Extreme Couture's. Uh, so they, they got in contact and I think one of the days I got a call from, or a text from Ali saying, hey, you want to roll with some guys? said, yeah, sure, let's go. And then I opened the door and that was Khabib and Islam Makachev. And I was like, okay, <laughs> this will be good. That's awesome. Was that the Performance Institute when you just engaged you? Well? No, that, that was the second trip. So that was this one was the first one. Uh, and that was at the beginning of his camp leading up to his fight against uh, Dustin. Awesome. Thank you very much, my friend. Okay, guys, thank you for everyone's questions.